Well, we're going to beat the rain today and get in some rain shooting. It's going to start pouring pretty soon. It's going to rain all week. That's the forecast. So now let's go ahead and test the 38 short Colt with 158 grain molly round nose bullets. 4.3 grains of 231 powder. And our test gun is the Taurus Model 66. Those molly coated bullets, 4.3 grains of 231 powder shot very low pressure actually, so there's room for more powder if needed. So we have a high of 976, low of 904, average of 945, spread of 72, deviation of 20. That's not too good. The 38 short Colt's an interesting round. Uh, certainly not as much fun to shoot though as say your shorter cases in the 44 caliber and 45 caliber. But uh, there's some utility here, especially for competition shooters, for cowboy action, this kind of thing. So shooters and reloaders, to evaluate this one, that's a pretty powerful round for such a small case. 945 feet per second with 158 grain round nose bullet that puts that at a power factor of 149 which is uh, a lot more than we need for minor power for minor power instead of 945 feet per second all we need is about 800 feet per second so if we were to drop the powder charge from 4.3 grains of 231 down to say 3.6 grains will probably get there nicely. The accuracy of this particular load of 4.3 grains of 231 uh, was not that good. This group was not shot with 158 but the 158 this load right here shot groups like that which is still not acceptable. That's a uh, way too big for shooting at a rest uh, from 12 and a half yards. So more work needs to be done. We might try loading less powder with this heavier bullet because that's still plenty of power at uh, 791 to 800 feet per second. So uh, we might even go ahead and use a little more powder because we have uh, safe pressures with this to get over a thousand feet per second. Go the other way with it too. So. Uh, there's still a lot more work that we can do with this bullet and a 38 short Colt. Uh, take care. We'll see you next video. Bye for now.